Hey guys, it's me, Amanda, also known as Amateur Aries, and today we're doing an Influencer Revlon review video slash tutorial. I got this Revlon box in the mail like two weeks ago, and then this, then Christmas happened and New Year's happened, so I couldn't film until today. I opened the box uh, before I even did this video to see what was inside, to see if there was enough products just to do an unboxing, but there was only three products, so I wasn't going to do an unboxing video. However, there is a quad of purples, uh, Revlon Color Stay Line Crater and Longwear Liquid in Cold Pencil on both sides. Uh, one's on one side and one's on the other side. and. Revlon Color Stay Semi Permanent Brow Ink, which was super intimidating for me. But I did it, guys. I did it. My brows are done. So we are going to go through this box, do a makeup tutorial, and a review at the end. Tell me what you think about in the comments below, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Forgive me now if you hear noises in the background. This is the only time of the day that I can film, and my roommates are up. <laughs> And uh, if I sound a little bit bizarre, it is because I do kind of have a sore throat and a lot of mucus has been going down my throat. It's kind of disgusting, but it's just been making it difficult for me to breathe. So if you hear me breathing really loudly in this video, I'll try to cut it out. I didn't do this eyebrow because we got a brow thing to try out. So let's do that now. For brows, I'm using sun the Revlon Color Stay Semi Permanent Brow Ink in the color Dark Brown. 355. I was afraid of using this because I've never used something like this before. <laughs> so I was a little bit worried. Let me just get closer. I'm trying to make sure you can actually see me because in the last video it's kind of like, you can see me there, right? I'm going to use the spoolie just to brush out my brow, just to prep it. It's a clean spoolie, there's no ink added to it. I'll put it back on top. And then we're gonna pull out the actual brush. Looks like this. There's already a lot of ink coming off of it, so I'm just gonna brush it onto the bottle. And then I'm gonna start by shaping my eye, eyebrow. I'm gonna be very careful, because like I said, I've never used a product like this before. And I already messed up. It's so it's so sensitive on the eyes that you have to be super careful. I don't even want to talk when doing this. <laughs> it's about the right shade for my eyebrow. A little bit lighter in some areas. It's easy to wipe off, so if you're a little bit afraid of putting it on at first, it's easy to wipe off, so no concern there. Try to make sure you can see me. And close it up and then use the spoolie again and brush it out to blend it. And that is how you use this semi permanent brow ink. It's my first time using it, so amateur tutorial on this. <laughs> but you know, amateur Aries. Alright, now let's get into the actual eyes. I'm gonna pull you away just slightly. I'm gonna try to get this to focus properly. First and foremost, I'm using Maybelline's Cover Stick Concealer in Medium Beige. I always forget the color that I'm using it in. I'm gonna apply this all over my eyelid, including my brow bone. To set the concealer, I'm using Elf's Fallish Eyeshadow in Smoky, which I can't find anywhere anymore, so just pick any skin tone or white that you choose to put on your eye just to set the concealer. I'm using a white because I don't have a skin tone one right now. 
and I'm just gonna brush it wherever I place the concealer including the eyebrow bone the brow bone I'm using Revlon Colorstay Day to Night 24 hour quad it looks like this it doesn't really have a excuse me for the phone doesn't really have names for the colors so I'm just going to point out the colors first and foremost I'm going to take a big fluffy brush this is the Morphe M441 brush looks like this I'm going to take this lighter purple and I'm going to place this in my crease and a little bit higher than the crease I'm just going to really get in there and then I'm just going to make sure that you can see me can you see me right there's good I'm just going to place this in the crease I'm using window shield wiper motions and swirls to blend this color out So this is the new year that I'm filming this. It's January 1st. And I have my resolutions. But I'm not going to say them because I don't want to jinx them. But what are your resolutions? What are your goals for the new year? I'm using Morphe's M506 brush. It looks like this. in this darker purple. It's like a plum color. Take it and dab it. I'm going to place this at the end of my eye, brushing inward. Me and Zach watched fireworks last night at 12. They're going on all night long, but at 12 is like when they do the finale. And there's fireworks all around, all around us in the backyard. So we got to watch them. And that was fun. I slept a little bit before we watched them because I was really tired. I mean, I'm 30 years old now. I sleep like at 9.30 to 10 o'clock. <laughs> because I wake up really early in the morning. I wake up from 4.30 to 5.30, depending on the day. And then 6 o'clock on the days off. Now I'm using a packing brush that looks like this. It doesn't have a name on it, so I don't know what brand it's from because it's probably worn off. And I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water and I'm going to spray it. Got that in my mouth. I'm going to take this darker shade, this sparkly darker shade, and just grab onto it. I'm going to place this in the center of my eyelid. Wetting the brush allows you to grab more pigment instead of a dry brush which makes it more brighter and colorful. Then I'm gonna clean off the brush, spray it again. Ugh, that was a horrible spray. And then I'm gonna grab the lighter of the purples and I'm gonna place this in the inner corner of my eye, right here. And I'm gonna bring it into the dark purple this shiny shimmery dark purple and blend it together going back to my Morphe M506 brush going back to the plum color I'm going to brush this towards the center again to blend out the colors I just not know I have some fallout what? I like never have fallout when it comes to doing this stuff because like I'm always very careful <laughs> all right let me just brush off this brush this big fluffy morphe m441 brush and I'm just gonna brush off the extra powder using my precision brush which looks like this doesn't have a name on it either I'm going to go to this matte this letter matte color I'm gonna brush this underneath my eye And then I'm going to go to the plum color and do the same thing. Focusing 
mostly at the end of my eye. So for the inner corner of my eyelid where the tear duct is, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. You can use any highlighter you choose. I think this is still being sold. I'm using a Forever Lit. I'm gonna take it on my precision brush and I'm going to place this around my tear duct. So we're done with the brushes, so I'm just gonna put those off to the side because they're in the way. And we're going to do something that's really hard for me to do. Eyeliner. Especially the liquid eyeliner. I never do a liquid eyeliner because it's so tricky to work with in my opinion. But we're going to be using it today. I'm using Revlon's Colorstay Line Creator and I'm going to use the long, long wear liquid side. I'm so intimidated. I mean, I did on this eye and I didn't do a very good job, but <laughs> I'm just going to line the top lid. I'm not going to make a cat eye or anything like that because, girl, let's be serious. I'm not, I'm not good at that. My eyes are misshaped, so. I'm going to try filling in where there's blanks, which is close to my eyelashes. Now I'm going to use the other side, which is the coal pencil. Looks like this. And I'm going to tight line my upper lid. Be very careful because the other eyeliner is so drying. This is super pigmented. I didn't need to use much of it on the other eye to actually like put it on. So I'm quite pleased with this. Now I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Looks like this. I'm going to shuffle this through my eyelashes. And now I'm going to use Kiss Lashes and Sultry. Like, looks like this. I've used them quite often. Probably going to be the last use I use of these particular ones and then move on to other ones. Which are probably going to be more Kiss Lashes because they're like my favorite brand of lashes next to Ardell, but I always never really buy from Ardell anymore. Like that, you didn't really see me put them on, but you get the gist. Now for lipstick or liquid lipstick, I'm using Dose of Colors Liquid, lips, bleh, bleh, liquid Lipstick in Flirty. I use this the most because it's my favorite. Oh, it smells so good still. And that's how you get this look. It's simple, easy, and all you use really is this quad. Of course, if you need a white or a tan color or any color that matches your skin, feel free to look for it and use that instead for setting your concealer. What do I think of this box? Um, the colors were easy to apply, which was fantastic. The eyebrow ink was surprisingly easy to, to apply, which I was really surprised about that. I was really nervous and intimidated by this, but it was easy to use. Liquid eyeliner always bothers me, no matter what, so it doesn't matter what brand it is. <laughs> but the coal eyeliner is very pigmented and easy to use as well. So I like these a lot and probably going to use them often. Probably not this as often because purple is not really an eye color that I go to. But that's just me. I'm usually like pinks or neutrals. I definitely like. I'm going to have to review these products after this and um, I'll see you later. Like, comment, and subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful day.